Hey what's up YouTubers it's Tansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how you can create an app login screen in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with I'm going to go and specify the name I'm going to call it app login screen number of artboards set to one that's fine the width is going to be 750 pixels wide by 1334 high that's the dimensions for the iPhone 6 orientation portrait we don't need to specify any bleed because we're not sending this to print color mode RGB absolutely fine 72 PPI fine preview mode default and that's fine here as is so click OK and we get our brand new artboard so to start with I'm going to create a background we're going to select our rectangle tool left click and drag and just make sure we get rid of our fill and then swap our stroke and our fill so we have a black solid rectangle now if you go up to view down to smart guides just make sure that they are selected because we can quickly and easily you see there it snaps into place we can just quickly and easily drag shapes around and they will line up so we've snapped our background in place and we're going to go here double click on the black swatch select global tick preview and you can adjust this to be whatever you want I'm just gonna make it slightly slightly off black a little bit more towards the kind of blue hue and then I click OK now I don't want to move the background when I'm creating the the interface for the login screen so if I go up to object lock and selection it will lock any selected shapes and as I've selected the background when I click this see now that it is locked and cannot be selected now if you need to unlock it you just go up to object down to unlock all and it will make it editable again so let's keep that locked for now so we're going to start by creating our boxes so we'll go over to here I'm just going to drag another rectangle and I can specify height for this if I want so let's just unlink the width and the height and I can make this 100 pixels high so it's a nice round number and I can make this let's say 600 pixels wide go up to this little shape here align to selection click that and then let's select align to our artboard and then I can align it horizontally and vertically and let's just give that a color now so we'll have any text boxes let's say white Tick global and preview, and we can now change this color to anything we like. So I'm going to go with something like this. And we can select that. If you're using a CC version of Illustrator, you'll get these little circles. I'll just zoom in. These little circles inside the outside anchor points, you can just click and drag to quickly and easily round corners. If you don't have that or you are using an older version, just go up to effect down to stylize, round corners and you can again specify the radius here, that's absolutely fine if you do specify it via the effects menu just make sure that if you want to edit it you go over to the appearance palette where you can then click rounded corners, edit it or just delete it altogether so it's just a slightly way of doing it if you are using an older version of Illustrator but for this I'm just going to round it using the latest version so something like this And then I'm going to select my text tool and I'm going to type username now let's give this a slightly well let's make it white to start with so I'll just pick any other color swatch tick global and just drag all the values to the right as I know that that is that is white if you drag them all the way to the left you'll get black so there we go, that's white, and I'm going to make this a different font. Let's go with good old Helvetica. So something like that. And then what I can do is I can select, holding shift and just left clicking on each of the elements, multiple select these elements here, 
and then when I click again I'm gonna hold shift and alt and it will drag it directly down to create a copy and then I can type password this is where the user will enter their password and I'm actually gonna just do this again I'm just gonna left click on the text and hold alt drag this up here and we'll just call this logo and I'll make it a bit bolder and a bit bigger and I'm just gonna make sure that this logo is central to the page so just look for this symbol again align to artboard yep that's ticked that's fine and just horizontal align center there we go and just horizontal align center and there we go we know it's in the middle now and I'm going to create one more of these actually just select them both again by holding shift and just hold shift and alt drag down You'll see the smart guides try to equally space it apart, which is nice, if that's something you need. We'll select username and just change this text to sign up. Or log in, rather, that would make more sense. And I'm going to make this one bold as well. And I want that to be central. And if I hold shift and left click to select both the login text and the box that it's in, we can go up to the align option again but this time we're going to have align to selection so it will align one element to another selected element so because I've selected both of these two elements if I click horizontal align center rather than aligning these to the artboard it will align them to each other as you can see and then I can just shift this back into place and you'll see the smart guides help me line it up with the boxes above in fact, I'm going to round these boxes off a bit more actually, so I'm going to click back in and just drag that to the center so they are all fully rounded off. Something a little bit different. And this bottom button I'm going to make a different color, so let's have a nice bright pink of some description I think. Let's just fiddle around with that. Something not too punchy but not too tall. There we go. I think that will do the job nicely. So there's a couple of other things you may include on this screen. If we just we'll drag the login text down, so hold shift and alt, and we'll drag that down. And we'll say sign up. And we'll drag our password text holding alt and shift down. Let's try that again. And I'm just going to type forgot password, just in case users have forgotten their password. And we can make this a bit smaller in size as well. And you can position this where you want. You can position it within here. You can position it underneath. I think actually we're just going to move this login box down and the forgotten password button. And we can position that in the center. So we'll centrally align that. You see here, automatically with the smart guys, tries to line it up, which is really, really nice, really helpful. There we go, just move these all around a little bit. And now the last thing to do is we're going to create some icons for our username and our password. So for the username, we're going to create a really simple one. We're going to select the our ellipse tool and just hold shift and click to create a circle. We're going to fill this with our very, 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 very dark blue backgroundy color. And swap the fill and the stroke. And then in the stroke palette, just bring the weight up. Let's say four pixels. And then we're going to hold shift and alt to create a copy. And now what we're going to do is select with the direct selection tool, the bottom anchor point here and just hit delete backspace. And then we're just going to scale this down. You can hold alt and shift to scale towards the center whilst keeping it as a circle. 
And there we go, we've got our username icon. We can just select everything and hold shift to scale that one down. Now I've scaled it down to more the size it will actually be, I think. Let's probably just make that three points in weight. Just make it a bit thinner. And I can group these as well. I can just drag over, go up to object, select group. And I can now position this over here. And if I go up to object, arrange, and make sure I bring to front so it is on top of everything else we've created. And I could change the color to white as well. In fact, I could even make this a bit different and change it to pink. Just to match the color of the login button. And actually, I might drop that down even one more. Just make it two point in width and a little bit smaller. And as you're designing, just kind of feel free to adjust any of these elements to your preference. Okay, so now we're going to create a padlock icon for the password section. So I'm just going to hold Alt and drag our little username icon back out because there are elements of this that I would like to use. So if we select our rectangle tool and we want our padlock icon to be a similar size to our username icon. So let's just click and hold shift. We'll create a square. You'll see the smart guys line up nicely for us. And then I'm going to ungroup the username icon. And I'm going to do the same again. I'm just going to take the direct selection tool, select that bottom anchor point and hit delete or backspace. And then drag this down. And possibly make this square a little bit, a little bit smaller. So holding shift and alt, just drag that towards the center. something like that will do. If we go up to object, we'll group it together and we can just move that one over. We can select both of these icons, so holding shift, just select both of them, check that we've got align to selection selected and then horizontal align center. Perfect. And if we zoom back out, and there we go. We've created a simple login user interface in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.